Right, I'm going to start on this uh, pattern here. Uh, this is a pattern that uh, d designed here mainly to be used on Lockern, using a Camasan B170 size 10. And uh, we're using, this is a Vivus thread, this is the Olive 16O, marvellous uh, uh, tine thread there. Uh, Emir sent it through us, it's uh, Emir Vivus from Denmark. So Emir, thank you very much indeed. That's the product there, if you want to use it, get on his website, absolutely brilliant stuff. So what we're going to be t uh, doing on this here, I'm going to be using a fluorescent yellow dyed cock pheasant for the tail. And it's also going to be incorporated a bit later on in the, uh, the pattern itself. So we've taken a bunch of these here, we're going to set this in and tie it in. Bring the thread to there. And then we're going to tie this like a golden olive holographic by Vivas as well. So coming back, as you see, we're working the materials backwards again all the way through the flight so you don't get any build up. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the body in, and the dubbing I've got is golden olive Charlie here. And we're just going to get him in. Once you've got him there, just going to, same as usual, just make a wee point on the dubbing, catch him in, tighten the dubbing up. A couple of turns backwards, just locks it in. And we're just going to bring that up to there. Trim off the waist. Opposite direction of the way you put the dub in, four turns of a holographic. Catch that in, trim it off. Now it comes in to the in part. I'm going to get the cock pheasant again, and we're just going to take a few fibres, get the fibres. What we're going to do is just not blow these bits off here. We're going to set that up just short of the tail and we're going to set him on there and we're going to spin that actually round. So you've got an octopus effect. And then what we do, just going to trim the waste off these here. And then you put a ultraviolet light onto these you can see the effect that it gives. Gives a nice wee glow off that there. So once we've got them on there, next thing I'm going to do, just going to put in a nice deep orangey red hackle. So we catch that in, set that in good and proper. We're just going to fold that and wind that hackle in like such, catch him in, bring that back, lock that in, you can just nip that out. Fold the hackles backwards, put a nice bed for the front hackle, you can see that's coming back there. Now that to finish the fly what I'm using is a yellow partridge so what we're going to do, just going to pick out the partridge here, which has got the brown markings on it, like such. Just going to trim him back. Fold these back here, get the timing by the point. Catch that in. Bring that one back, that brief end piece, lock that in. Once we've got that locked in there, what we're going to do, just going to wind that partridge in. So we're stroking back. Bring the hackle. Each turn we're just stroking that partridge. Until we get into the front. Once we've gone to there, two or three turns just to secure that. Hackle in, trim off, fold it back, and we're just going to make a nice wee neat head. 
Bit finishing. That's the fly done. Once he's finished, all we're going to do put a wee bit of varnish on the head. And Bob's your uncle. So that's my version of the urn gosling, but this is actually the urn octopus gosling. So as you say over in Ireland, happy wrappings. <laughs>